Hey y'all, I got a quick nine hole to show you, so let's jump right in. And not the start I was hoping for, but not for the reason you may think. You might have heard me tee off, but I know you didn't see me. That's because I had the camera set up backwards. So you just have to trust me that I found the fairway after that, that opening tee shot. But to give you some background on the course I'm playing, this is the Fleming Nine Golf Course. It's located on the property of TPC Harding in San Francisco, California. And TPC Harding was home to the 2020 PGA Championship. So it was a nice enough golf course to host a major, which I thought was pretty cool. Uh, but the Fleming Nine is a par 30, it's 2,165 yards. It's got six par threes and three par fours, one of which is the opening hole that I'm playing. And the course was actually named after one of the original caretakers, Jack Fleming. And on a related note, given the inauguration this week, uh, TPC Harding is actually named after a former U.S. president, Warren G. Harding. And he unfortunately passed away while visiting SF. And being the avid golfer he was, they decided to name the recently built course after him. And for any viewers out there, I'm also an avid golfer. So if anyone wants to name a golf course after me, my only ask is you do it while I'm still alive and young enough to play it. And speaking of playing, I got about 150 here between the bunkers. Pulled it a little left, but I caught a piece of the green here. In the background, you might be able to see Sutro Tower. It's a relatively famous landmark here in SF, not as famous as Golden Gate Bridge. But it tends to make an appearance in some of my videos, most notably the Presidio Golf Course vlog. And so you just gotta keep a close eye out for it. But as it relates to my game, and I've touched on this before, a big weakness has been my short game. And so I've worked hard to get better. My goal in chipping has simply been to get shots in closer proximity to the hole and really give my putts a higher chance of going in. So you may have heard of me talk about getting up and down. And all that essentially means is one chip and one putt when missing the green either after a tee shot on a par three or after an approach shot on a par four. And this is where my score tends to bubble up, whether it's multiple chips and or multiple putts. So when I say getting up and down, the chip is the up and the putt is the down with the ball falling into the cup. But here I had about 150 yards with a pin in the front. I might have hit behind the ball slightly. Came up a little bit short. But this is where we test the short game. Got a pretty easy bump and run. This is something I should get up and down fairly high percentage. No real obstacles in my way. So I have a nice leave here. Simple putt that I end up making. And if you're paying attention, you might see Sutro Tower in the background. And one of the things that I did before playing this round is I actually took a few clubs out of the bag, make it a little bit lighter. Here, it'd probably be nice to have a little a three wood. Instead I go with the five wood since that's all I had. It came up a little bit short. And that's okay. I'm gonna test the short game again. Left myself with about 30 yards. But what's nice is the rough really propped up the ball so it's pretty easy to get the club underneath. Get consistent contact and even generate some spin. Best chip of the day right here. Yeah, I was pretty proud about that one. I thought that I had a chance of going in. Uh, but a stress-free par is what I'm after, and that's what I got. I was pretty happy with it. An issue I ran into while playing this round was my rangefinder was out of sorts. And it's really caused by the fog. And so my rangefinder is simply a device that I use to uh, point and shoot a laser to get an exact, uh, an exact distance, uh, basically to the flag. That's what I primarily use it for, but you can use it for other obstacles. So I had to go off the scorecard and I actually hit this one over the green. It's not great distance control, but it's a pretty easy leave here. And again, I got a nice lie with that ball propped up. And so this is another shot that I should put pretty close. And every once in a blue moon, it might find its way into the cup off the chip. 
But here, just tugged it a little bit left and had a short leave. Another low stress par, we'll call it. Here's a slow mo of the driver on a par four. This is a dog leg left. And my inability to hit a draw really hurts me here. Really got to wrap around the trees on the left side there. And I just hit it dead straight and drove it right through the fairway. And so I'm battling some trees. And that is a battle I am losing. <laughs> Knocked me back a little bit. This bunker is really interesting. So this is about 30 or 40 yards short of the green. And if you're sitting back on the fairway, it makes it seem as though it's a greenside bunker. Right? You just have to hit it barely over the bunker in order to be on the green, not knowing that there's another 30 or so yards beyond it. And this is an old trick that uh, famous Scottish golf architect Alistair McKenzie would do. He's most famous for designing the uh, Augusta National where they played the Masters. But oddly enough, he actually designed a course not too far south from here uh, in Pacifica, the Pacifico Golf Course, which is a public municipal course. And he plays with the eyes a little bit and that depth perception quite a bit, putting bunkers, you know, 50 or 60 yards short and just kind of plays with your mind a little bit. And this putt kind of played with my mind. I thought that thing was in as soon as I hit it and only until the last few inches did it decide to go right. So I missed the birdie putt there. But here we're already on the ninth hole. The fog is picking up. Give you some more local knowledge. I feel like I've been full of facts today. The fog actually has a name out here in SF. It's called Carl. It's got its own Twitter account. A worthy follow if you're so interested. That one kind of confused me there. I had to take another look. Yeah, that's a, a local secret. Let you in on as well as let you into my game. Thanks for joining.